If you want a perfect white balance for the shot, then the only true methods I know of are to white balance the camera during the shoot or to have something white in the shot to white balance to later. Yes, it's true that if you shoot in RAW, you can change white balance in post, but you still need a reference point. White balancing the 6K is super easy. Just hold your white reference in front of the camera and hold the white balance or WB button until the square appears and you're done. Crazy simple. And you can see the new white balance numbers at the top of the screen. The S5 is pretty easy too and works in a similar fashion, but I couldn't find the white balance value after it was captured. It is recorded in the B-Roll information, so you'll see it in DaVinci though. If you don't have a reference to white and post, then use the vector scope and the offset color wheel to adjust. I purposely messed this one up for an example. The center of the vector scope is white while the colors surround it. Now let's use the offset and pull the pattern to the middle while looking at the shot. If there is a lot of blue in the image, then the pattern will show that it is reaching for that color. So moving the pattern directly in the middle won't work perfectly. The reason I share this method is if you want to inspect a shot really quickly, then this can help. But we're going to stick to what I mentioned earlier for this workflow. I did perform a white balance for these test shots and also left the gray card with a white reference in the shot. There are white point and black point markers as well if you know something is truly black or white to try to help. But I don't use those tools to be honest. I haven't had that much luck with them with most shots. So back to the gray card. We used it in the first video to find middle gray and now we will use it here in post to make sure our white balance is good. Just select the white dropper tool, then select the white box on the card. Placement of this card is also important. Make sure to put it close to the focus of the shot, whether subject or espresso machine in this case. 